before I do my routine and intro the vlog, I just realized there's two golden retrievers that live in our apartment complex. One's a little darker and one's a little lighter. Unless that one just got a bath and he's a little dark, but I'm pretty sure that there's two. But, oh, okay, I can intro the vlog now. Hey everyone, good morning, happy. Oh my God, what's today? It's Thursday, Thursday. woo! Okay, <laughs> so, happy Thursday, guys. We woke up on time today, 6.30. We're rolling, listen to our podcasts, our motivational videos. We're feeling good, we're feeling inspired. Okay, so Colin and I thought we were just brainstorming, like we were having like a business meeting, like we usually do. Oh, yeah. Side note, if you're new here, you should definitely subscribe and stick around. If you're always here, what's up, girl? But, okay. Anyways, we were thinking we want to like intro the video in a positive way, get you guys thinking like positively, positive mindset. I want you guys to come here and always be like happy and inspired in my videos. So, in the beginning of the videos, there's a golden retriever again. It's different, that one's older. That's oh, and that's funny. definitely a different owner. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna like ask you guys, we'll tell you what we think too, but we're gonna ask you guys like a question that like makes you think or like what inspires you or like what you're thankful for or things like that, or I can just do like a recap if I like was really inspired by the podcast that we listened to this morning and like how why it inspired me and like ways that it can inspire you or things like that. You guys comment down below what you're thankful for. I'm thankful that we get to live in this really nice place together and that we both are killing it in our jobs and working so hard and like putting mm -hmm. out positive things and like really yeah. just improving our like relationship and our businesses and everything like that. Yeah. I am thankful for where I am right now in my journey on improving myself and like seeing how far I've come and where I am now and I'm also super thankful for my relationship with Bianca and everything that comes with that. I'm thankful that we are both able to pursue our passions and be able to make a living off of the things we love doing. Comment down below what you're thankful for and we're about to go to the gym. I'm going to show you my gym outfit and yeah, we're going to get this day rolling. Almost Friday. Woo! Gym fit, let's get it. All right, Gym Shark, Lululemon. This one's the long line energy bra. I really like the long line energy bra because it's longer in the lines. And yeah, I love the back of energy bras, but yep, just, I'm just been rocking the vital seamless lately. I don't know what it is, but today we have shoulder boulders. Check it, check it. And then we, not we, I am going to Orange Theory at 9.30 with my Madre and yeah, all that stuff. So, let's get it. Okay, I took my hair out of Orange Theory because we're doing a content shoot today for Instagram. And um, yeah, I just, um, I gotta blow dry this wet out of my hair. That's the ritual. You just gotta blow dry it out, put some dry shampoo in it. It's perfect and ready to go again. Anyways, so I'm home today. We did a 30 second standalone all out and I ran at a 12 speed and 6% incline. It was a PR for me. I'm very, very hype about it. <laughs> it was like, I was beat after I was pretty wrecked actually. I was really dizzy in the weight room, but it's okay. And um, yeah, recently I've always been trying to start on the treadmill because I'm going there mainly to get my cardio in. So I want to do like treadmill first, but I'm pretty hype. And now I am about to drink my isogenic shake and then get ready. Do you know, do you have any ideas of where you want to take pictures? Cause I haven't thought that far. Oh, I haven't either. I didn't know if maybe you had ideas. No, it's okay. I can, think, I can think that far right now. I'll think that far right now. Okay, guys. So, I just got ready. I have to show you my outfit. We are doing the content shoot today just to get Insta pics, but this shirt's from Princess Polly. I've been wanting to shoot it forever. We've just been so busy with moving and, like, life and I don't even... Just busy. So, yeah, it's off the shoulder. It actually went out of stock and I was super upset and then I, like, looked online and saw it was back in stock, so I ordered it super fast. It's cheetah print, though. And your girl loves cheetah print. And then I'm wearing those jeans I was wearing literally yesterday. They're from Rollus because um, honestly, they just like make your butt look amazing. And they fit really well. And I'm just like a fan of them right now. So yeah, I'm wearing those. And I don't really know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet. I'm glad I unpacked all my shoes though so I have more options now. But really quick, I wanted to talk about a concept that I heard maybe two mornings ago in one of the podcasts that Colin and I listened to in the morning. And it's about compartmentalizing what you're doing throughout the day. So while you're working, you're focusing on working. While you're at the gym, you're focusing just solely on the gym. While Colin and I are watching a movie, I'm focusing on that movie and I'm focusing on Colin and I'm focusing on spending time with him. And 
that's something I can honestly say I am terrible at. My arm's hurting. We need to have a sit down chat for this. So much better. So anyways, I just feel like I'm so bad about that. And so my goal throughout this whole week, I kind of like set a little mini goal for myself was to really focus on compartmentalizing what I'm doing. And I'm the type of person who can triple task. Like I could be editing a video while I'm posting um, an Instagram story while I'm doing my makeup. Like I'm just kind of good at it and I can get stuff done. But I wanted to just kind of like test the theory that I heard in this podcast and it was saying if you compartmentalize and only focus on what you're focusing on in that time you can get it done faster and at the end of the day be more productive. So that's what I focused on when I was at the gym. I'm only focusing on things at the gym. That's why Colin and I don't even go on social media until after we're done with the gym. Like we don't even get on it in the morning. That's not the first thing I look at. The first thing we do is start playing that podcast, getting ready. My phone is in the kitchen away from me. Um, so I'm focusing on getting ready and having a good productive morning and a positive mindset. And then I'm focusing on my muscle growth at the gym and whatever um, muscle group I'm training and like focusing mind and muscle connection instead of being on Instagram and being like, oh, look at them doing this, but I should be really focusing on weightlifting and things like that. And I feel like this whole week I've just been in like a completely different mindset and I've had so much going on. Like I feel like Colin and I have been going zero to 100% all day long until we go to bed at night or until we make dinner. And so I just really wanted to take the time to be like, okay, like I'm going to break things down and only focus on things when I need to be focusing on them. And I feel like it's not only put me in a better mindset this week, but it's made me feel more productive and I just feel really happy. And I just don't even know if like those all correlate, but I was just saying, if you guys are used to like multitasking or have a hard time doing that, maybe make a conscious effort to compartmentalize your life a little bit better. And maybe it'll have a positive aspect in your life too. I don't know, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was pretty interesting. And I was like, okay, this week I'm gonna focus on that. And now I feel like I've completely changed like the way I do my weeks and the way I do my own work now. And I feel like I'm gonna implement this forever. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys, but now I just focus completely on getting ready so I got ready for the day and then um, yeah now I'm just gonna edit this video until Colin gets back he's getting his haircut right now so yeah he really needed his haircut right now so I'm glad he's doing that it was like really growing out it was just he needed it okay before we leave we just got a package I just went and got it um from Wayfair Colin's coming right now okay. so my intention was for it to go somewhere but now that we have that bench I feel like there's multiple places for it to go, but it was on sale on Wayfair, and I like the neutral vibe. Oops. <laughs> I like like the neutral braided pillow vibe, so really, I don't know if it should go on this couch. Not right there, obviously, but like, okay, like, here. So like those were over there and it actually looked really good, but then we kind of needed to go over here. So I don't know if it should go like right there. Let me stand back. Yeah, I definitely don't like that. Okay, let's go to option two. <laughs> option two is for it to be here. And be the third pillow. I feel like that's gonna be the best one. What do you think? Getting ready to leave and drive to like the metropolitan area of Charlotte and take some pictures there just because we really haven't taken any pictures there So I'm hoping that it's a success All right, so we found a nice neutral ball, but I just found a um, Pumpkin cream cold brew so fast. I literally don't even remember drinking it I was so decaffeinated and I just really needed some <laughs> so I chugged it so we can hurry up and Not really hurry, but so we can take pics, you know Here's outfit number two. I'm wearing this white tank top from Princess Polly and then my same jeans and these shoes from Princess Polly that I hauled. Except I'm wearing white on white, so I don't really know if that's gonna like work out so well. But I don't know, we'll figure it out. This cute place we're shooting though. It's really, really cute. The hobbyist coffee yeah. shop, and then like there's like this whole area across. It's really, really cute. I've shot here before, but it was like two years ago maybe. It was me and my mom. But now it's me and my man's. Okay, so next place we're going is called Optimus Hall. It's like brand new in Charlotte and there's still some other things being built. So I was kind of waiting to come until those were built. For instance, a grilled cheese place. But since we're around here, I kind of just wanted to go check it out. And my dad came here the other day 
and he said it was cool um he said it was cool but like to wait for the more restaurants to come but we are like here so i just kind of wanted to check it out and see plus the inside looks really white and bright so you never know you know so i want to check it out and i want to show you guys and a lot of people ask about things to do around charlotte so here's some ideas but i think it's in our best interest to make a full video one day we'll just they just need some time first this is what the optimus hot place looks like it's like really cool it looks nice it's just halfway finished though that's the thing but you can still go in there look at how cool oh my god we're gonna have to come here again see look here's inside oh my god wow we just ordered a sushi burrito to share because we needed a snack Yee. just before we would go home and make dinner there's so many more places that have to open up in here so if you're in the charlotte area don't come here until like november oh my gosh that's insane Okay, last outfit is this little set from Princess Polly. But the thing about days when we take pictures is that it's not like we're in California and there's just like a spot on every corner or like New York. It's like you kind of have to drive from place to place until you find something that like you're feeling, you know? So. I think we just need to make it a habit to explore more. Yeah, we do. We need to like scout out some places some more. But. I think that I literally, I think Optimus Hall was like a great spot. Thanks, it was my idea. The thing is though that like since it's taken so long now it's six o'clock and we snacked on that sushi burrito which was pretty good. Colin said he likes sushi better. Yeah, the burrito was honestly it wasn't that great. Oh okay. Like the I'm quality not. of the sushi wasn't like as good. I'm not like the biggest sushi pair person fanatic. I am. So anyways, the thing is though that we're like probably an hour away from home now because of like people getting off work in that traffic so we just decided that we were gonna go on a date night on Saturday but instead we were gonna kind of do like an at-home like date night tonight and instead of doing that tonight we're just gonna do our date night tonight and then go on Saturday night and probably like watch movies and stuff and we're gonna do like a steak we live pretty close to an ABC store so they have Moscow meals in ABC stores by the way and so we're gonna like get some of those and we're just kind of like doing an another impromptu date night so <laughs> yeah so uh, this time we're not gonna get ice cream though but we're going to Tupelo Honey which is one of our favorite restaurants and it's in South End Charlotte and we're pretty close to South End so yeah we're just gonna go eat there and then when I come home I have to put a video up and we have some work things to do so yeah that is the thing though that like taking pictures kind of takes a while so at least for us it does so anyways yeah that's just I think we made for a really good time honestly I mean yeah and I also usually only do like one or two outfits and today I did three no four, four. yeah today I did four but I was just like racking up you know I had to do what I had to do so yeah just we planned today to be like a big content day knowing that not that much was gonna happen so that's what happened here we are handsome date we love date nights at Tupelo Honey nights must have alcoholic beverages <laughs> <laughs> Here's me eating healthy while we're out, minus the potatoes. I could have done better, but it's okay. Y'all can maybe get back to No, I didn't. Made it back home. I'm very happy to be back here. I love this place. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I am about to put my video up and it's already 8 o'clock and they usually go up at 6.30, but it's gonna get up either way. Regardless, it's already uploaded. I just need to do the thumbnail, which is easy. And yeah, if you guys were wondering, I edit my thumbnails on PicMonkey and how I've been doing my Instagram stories recently to get the block letter font, for instance, here, I'm just gonna show you my Instagram story, but a lot of people keep asking. Okay, so to get the like block letter big all caps font, I use the app over, and then to get the cursive font underneath it, I literally save it and use two different apps. And the cursive font, I use the app, I think it's called Made. Yeah, it is called Made. So I literally use two different apps, but it looks cute. So I just wanna let you guys know because I've gotten a lot of questions, but download over and Made, download Unfold, and download Film. Those are all the apps that I use, and I edit on Lightroom, just my stories, but I edit my actual Instagram pictures on my computer on Lightroom with my own presets, so yeah. But now I'm gonna put on my video before I get messages like, where's your video? video is up i wanted to quickly show you guys some of the photos that we took today that i liked and show you like without the preset and then with my preset i'm just very proud of my preset i tell colin all the time how much i like 
the editing thing I've been doing. So I just want to show you. I'm just like hype. Like I never thought that I would be able to like make my own. Like I always use Aspen's because I really liked hers. And then I realized that I wanted something different. And then I just made it instead of trying to find it, you know? It's one of my favorite things to do. Wait, show yours. Show mine? Yeah. Zooming in. There's one. I took that, guys. That's without, that's with. He does his own, too. It's a big old content day. Okay. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to dim down my camera lighting just in case. But here's with, with it. Here's without. I need to, like, watch what I'm doing. With. Without. With. Without. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? But anyways, I really like that one. And I like that one too. And this one. I don't know, out of these three, tell me which one to post, the first, second, or third. And then I also like these. I thought those were really cool. And I like my white on white. I actually really like that one. I think that's the move. And then I still have to go through and edit some more pictures so I'll show you in a second because Colin gave me until 8:45 to edit before we can watch our show and it's 8 35 I have 10 minutes okay here's a couple more that one oh I went too far this one and then I think yeah I think I showed you all of them not that one that one didn't count that's all of them okay guys so yeah those content days kind of take the just life out of us. It's just driving all over the place, trying to find spots. We need to do a better job of like scouting out places to shoot. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog after I turn up the brightness just a little bit so you guys can see me clearly. It was more of like a really big work day for us just so we can like stock up. And Con has this huge video shoot tomorrow, so we really needed to do it today. But make sure you guys are subscribed and stick around. Tomorrow is a very fun day because our bench is delivering plus a plant plus a couple other things for that room over there so today was just kind of like a pause halt because no like decor or anything was really happening so i'm very very excited for tomorrow's vlog so i hope everyone's having a great day have a good rest of your night because i usually upload these in the evening but yeah have a good night get a good night's sleep happy friday and i will see you guys in your my next i almost said your next video but that'd be weird in my next video Bye.